Now, Halloween is creeping up on us fast, which means hay rides. Speaking of hay rides, LCMR's Future Business Leaders of America participated in Holly Shore's annual Haunted Hay Ride to compete for the $500 prize. I know I had fun scaring people, but hopefully this doesn't scare you too much. Involved in LCMR's FBLA participated in Holly Shore's Campgrounds annual hayride by performing a skit to hopefully win a $500 prize. My friend and I visited the Aviation Museum in Cape May, and this is what we saw. and many more things used to fight for our country. It's a great place to go with your friends and family of all ages. There is a wide range of things to do for children and adults. You can even sit in the cockpit of your very own plane. While being educational, the Aviation Museum offers much, much more. So be sure to stop on by because it's just plain fun. I'm here with Mr. Bruce Fournier to talk about something a lot of people in the county don't know about, the Aviation Museum. Where is the museum located? So the museum is actually a former naval base and it's located just a couple miles uh, from here over at the Cape May Airport. What can the museum offer to all ages? Well, we have something to offer for all age groups from small children. We actually have a um, little helicopter that was donated by Maurice Pier, um, all the way up to, um, we have a library. So any, anywhere from a, a, young, a young adult, a toddler, up to an adult. Great. What was there before the museum? So be, prior to the museum being there, um, actually it was just a wooded area. Uh, we're talking about back in the 1930s. Um, it was just a, a large wooded area and marshlands, actually, believe it or not. And the Army came in there and cleared the space uh, for training, and it wasn't large enough. And they went up to Millville, and then the Navy came in and finished developing the area and uh, built the naval base there. So how did the museum first get started? So after the war, the Navy gave all the, the, the land and the buildings back to Cape May County, and then uh, uh, fast forward to the 1990s, the museum building, hangar number one, uh, was pretty much just vacant and it was not being maintained. So Dr. Salvatore and his wife knew the history of the facility uh, and they knew that 42 men died training there. So they formed a nonprofit and they were able to start raising money to restore the building. And it was around 1997 when it actually opened as a museum. Interesting. 
So what is the biggest piece in the museum and how long is it, would you say? Uh, the biggest piece probably is an F-14 Tomcat aircraft made popular by the, by the movie Top Gun, and it's about 63 feet long. Okay. What wars were any of the aircraft or vehicles used in? So we have aircraft and vehicles that uh, date all the way back to World War I, all the way up uh, to uh, the Tomcat that we just talked about that would have been used in the Gulf Wars. So quite a time span. About how many people a year visit the museum? Uh, about 30,000 people annually. What is the biggest plane in the museum? The biggest plane, as I said, is the F-14 or the Avenger. They're probably the two of the biggest aircraft in the museum. Would you say that's your favorite piece, or do you have something else? No, I, I truly like the TBM Avenger because it's, it's a World War II aircraft. It was flown by the first President George Bush, and he was shot down in the Pacific. Um, and it was made by uh, General Motors. They, uh, Grumman Corporation originally started manufacturing the aircraft, and they couldn't keep up with production. So the Ge General, Mo General Motors took over. Uh, so it has a really cool history, too. Okay. Is there any future plans for the museums, like expansions or anything? Yeah, we just did expand the footprint of the museum a little bit. We had some private aircraft that moved out, so we expanded the museum into that area. And I don't know if it's going to happen in my lifetime, but we would like to see condominiums on the north side overlooking the runway, which would be pretty cool. Okay. Thank you for your time.